Hey guys, this is part 10 of my story torn apart. I hope you enjoy it. Disclaimer, the characters and pictures do not belong to me. All rights belong to their rightful owners. I don't see the characters the way I portray them in my story. As a reminder, my first language is not English. My English is not the best. This story contains a lot of angst. It will also have plus 16 scenes in later parts. I advise not to read this story if you are under 16 or not comfortable with these topics. Warning! Mention of suicide attempt, depression, violence, underage drinking, assault, and sex. Texts between mean that they are the thoughts of the respective person. Suna's point of view. Suna slowly woke up. He turned to the other side of the bed. He reached out and searched for Osamu. When he couldn't feel him, he opened his eyes. Osamu? He called his boyfriend hoping he was just in the bathroom. When he didn't get an answer, he got up. He winced in pain and sat down again. He touched his back. He remembered what he and Osamu had done before. This brought a smile to Suna's face until he reminded again that Osamu wasn't there. Samu where are you? Again he got no answer. He got up slowly and searched the room. When he couldn't find him, he panicked. No, not again. I thought he was different from Akira. He repeated those words over and over again. He sank to the ground. He curled up into a ball. As his stomach began to rumble, he figured maybe Osamu went downstairs to the restaurant. He got up and quickly got dressed. He went down as fast as his tired and aching legs would take him. He looked for Osamu in the restaurant. He even asked a member of staff if he had seen him. Realizing that Osamu was no longer at the hotel, he went back to his room. He lay on the bed and started crying didn't know what to do. Did his past really come back? Suna was afraid that Samu was like his ex-boyfriend. He could leave his ex back then because he never really loved him, but it's different with Osamu. He loved him more than anything in the world. He loved him so much that he even turned against Itsumu. What should I do now? Words that Itsumu said to him then came to mind, you are perfect just the way you are? You shouldn't let him treat you like that. He is not worth it. Nobody has the right to treat you like that. Does that mean I should leave him? But I love him so much. I can't live. Without him, Suna was still crying in bed for a while. Until he heard the lock click on the door. He got up quickly and went into the bathroom and locked the door. He heard someone come into the room. He heard bags crackle. Baby is everything all right? What's happening? Why are you crying? Did I hurt you? What? No? Why would he think that? Suna lay on the floor in the bathroom, holding his knees. He's shaking all over. Even though he knows inside that Osamu isn't like Akira, it scared the hell out of him to even consider the possibility. He didn't want Osamu to see him like that either. Suna could hear Osamu trying to open the door, which made Suna even more frightened. He always did. If I let him in, does he do the same thing Akira did? Baby please answer? You make me worry. Please open. The door. G, go away. I, ID, don't W, want to see you? I can't let it go back to what it was then. Please leave me alone. Baby please let me in, I'm worried, did I hurt you, didn't you like the sex, no it's not, I enjoyed it, but I'm too scared to let you in, go away, can you please at least tell me what's going on, or at least what I can do to make it better for you, please give me some, time, Suna could hear Osamu sigh through the door, as you wish, I'll leave you alone, Suna could hear the pain in Osamu's voice. He wanted to get up, yank open the door and fall into the strong arms of Osamu. But then his inner voice spoke to him again. Don't fall for it. 
Akira always sounded like he was sorry, but he always did it. Why should it be any different this time? I'll leave you food and painkillers on the bedside table. I'm going out. Please call me if you want to talk to me. Is he really going out? Akira never left me alone until I went outside. Isn't it the same as it was back then? He could hear Osamu leaving the room. He breathed a sigh of relief. He got up and went back into the room. He looked at the bag Osamu brought with him. It brought tears to Suna's eyes. He sat down. On the bed. So you didn't leave me after sex because you didn't want to see me, but because you went to buy me painkillers and food? I'm so stupid. I compared you to Akira. How stupid. How stupid. How stupid? Suna was ashamed of his behavior. He grabbed a pillow and a blanket from the bed and went back into the bathroom. He couldn't face Osamu when he came back. He was so ashamed of his behavior. And that he thought Osamu might be the same as Akira. It took a while before he could fall asleep. When he was finally able to fall asleep, his past haunted him in his dream. When he woke up he was bathed in sweat, his face was streaming with tears and his whole body ached. He sat up and groped his boyfriend for comfort. As he felt the cold and hard ground he remembered what happened before. He fell asleep. He got up and went to the door. When he opened it he found a sleeping Osamu in the doorframe. Suna knelt down to him. When he looked into his face he could see the bags under his eyes and the wet patches on his shirt. He suspects that Osamu had been crying a lot. The sight of his lover in such a state brought tears to his eyes. He hugged Osamu on impulse. This action woke Osamu, who was stunned first. However, when he realized Suna was hugging him, he quickly hugged him back. B, baby I'm S, so T, terribly S, sorry. P, plea, S E D, don't H, hate me? Please don't leave me I can't live without you? What are you saying? I could never hate you? I love you too much for that? Osamu pulled Suna onto his lap. Suna buried his face in Osamu's neck. He kept mumbling how sorry. He was. His tears wet and Osamu's shirt. When Suna noticed that he got Osamu's shirt wet, he sat up quickly. Samu I'm so sorry. Because of me your shirt is wet now. I am so sorry. Oh that doesn't matter. Can you please tell me what's going on now? Why didn't you let me in? Ah, uh, I, it is nothing. I, I, I was just being dramatic. Rin, we promised to always be honest. I can clearly see that it wasn't nothing. You scared the living shit out of me. Did I hurt you during sex? Didn't I hear you told me to stop? Please baby tell me what I did wrong. What did I do that you're suddenly afraid of me? Did I make the two I love the most hate me? Do you hate me now too? As Osamu spoke, tears began to run down his cheeks. Suna saw the pain in his lover's eyes. This also made him cry. He wiped the tears from Osamu's cheeks. He rested his forehead on Osamu's. He closed his eyes. He took a deep breath and gathered courage. You have done nothing wrong. I loved sex with you. I just panicked because you weren't there when I woke up. You didn't do anything wrong, I promise you. But why did you shut me out? Don't you trust me? Atsumo knows the reason for your behavior, doesn't he? Why don't I? No, I'm your partner shouldn't I know something like that? Suna kissed Osamu. Tears continued to slide down their cheeks, making the kiss salty. Osamu, however, didn't kiss back. Suna wrapped his arms around Osamu's neck and buried his face on Osamu's chest. Yes, Atsumo knows why I reacted like that. It has to do with my ex-boyfriend and Sumo got me out of that situation at the time. I was just afraid to tell you. Not because I don't trust you, but simply because I don't want you to look at me differently. When you were gone when I woke up, 
I thought what Akira did to me happened again. I was afraid it would happen again. I couldn't let you in because I was scared. Not of you but because it reminded me so much of that time. I know you're not like Akira but I couldn't think rationally. I was so caught up in my fear. When you were gone and I saw why you were gone. When I woke up I was so ashamed of my behavior that I locked myself in the bathroom. But what happened with Akira? What did he do to you? He, he, Suna collapsed. The memory of what Akira did to him hurt him. Osamu had never seen Suna hurt like that. It scared him to see Suna broken like that. He embraced his partner. Should we go to bed and talk about what happened in the morning when you've calmed down? Why, yes, P.L.E., A.S.E., but please promise me that you'll tell me what's going on in the morning. Please baby, I promise you, but please promise me you won't hate me afterwards. Baby you are the love of my life I could never hate you. Please just promise me, I promise I won't hate you after you tell me everything. The couple stood up. Suna got into bed and hid under the covers. Osamu lay down next to Suna. He removed the blanket over Suna's head. He turned Suna to face him. Suna rested his head on Osamu's chest, who wrapped his arms right around his boyfriend. They lay like that for a moment until Suna looked up and kissed Osamu. The two made out for a while. Until Osamu stopped and looked at Suna. We should sleep. Don't you wanna kiss me? Baby that's not the point if we don't stop. We'll keep going. And the last time we went further, you locked yourself in the bathroom for hours. Suna nodded and laid his head back on Osamu's chest. It didn't take long for Suna to fall asleep. But Osamu racked his brains half the night about what had happened to Suna that caused him to react that way. The other half of the night he racked his brains about Itsumo. He desperately wanted his brother back but it seemed like Itsumo didn't want that. That night he decided to give up hope of reconciliation with his brother. If Itsumo ever came to him he would welcome him with open arms but if not he would leave him alone. When Suna woke up he was alone in bed again. He sat up. Quickly. Samu? S.A. baby I'm here? Osamu came out of the bathroom. He quickly walked to the bed and hugged his partner. Suna really clung to Osamu. I thought you disappeared again. I know. It's okay I'm not going anywhere. Akira did this all the time. What? He always disappeared after we had sex. After that he sometimes didn't get in touch for days. And sometimes he came back to me very angry. When? You left yesterday after we had sex I thought you let me down like Akira always did. I was afraid that having sex would destroy our relationship like it was with Akira. He changed after we had sex for the first time. And that's why you locked yourself in the bathroom yesterday? That's why you gave me a huge fright? Because your stupid ex-boyfriend didn't take care of you after sex? Is that why you scare the living shit out of me? Osamu regretted his words the moment he said them. When he saw Suna's face fall, Osamu tried to grab Suna's arms, but he pushed him away. Tears streamed down his face. What do you know what he did to me? Do you really think if that was all I would have overreacted like that? The times he came back he abused me, he took all his anger out on me, and when I wanted to break up with him, he beat me up and tried to rape me. I was lucky that Itsumo was on his way to me, he prevented the worst. Those words brought tears to Osamu. He hated the idea of someone hurting Suna in such a way. Osamu went to take Suna's hand but his hand was knocked away. After that experience do you think it was easy for me to sleep with you? I was so scared to do that step with you. I was scared when you were gone. For me. It felt like my past was replaying itself. When you tried to open the door I was so afraid that Akira would come in. Baby, I'm so sorry. I should never have left you alone. If I had known, 
I would have waited for you to wake up again. I should have been there. Stop Osamu. Do you know what I gave up for you? I let the only person who was always there for me. Down? I let Itsumo down when he needed me the most? I took your side because I love you. It hurts to know that you think I would overreact just because my ex-boyfriend wasn't there for me after sex. Itsumo was always the one who came to me and helped me wash because my whole body hurt. He was the one who encouraged me to break up with Akira. He was the one who came running to me when Akira tried to rape me. He was the one who threw him out of the house and called the police. I hate myself every day for not siding with Tsumo. After I took your side, he still encouraged me to confess my feelings towards you. Flashback to the day Osamu and Suna got together. Atsumo please wait a minute. For what? So you can throw more dirt at me? Haven't you hurt me enough yet? It's all about this. I'm so sorry for everything I said. I know I didn't treat you fairly. I know I shouldn't have stood behind Osamu. But I love him. After what Akira did, I felt safe for the first time with someone else. Osamu makes me feel safe. I know that doesn't justify me letting you down after all you've done for me. But I can't let Osamu down. You don't see how much he suffers from what you did. He misses you. I couldn't have understood you until a few weeks ago, but I met someone I would do anything for. So I understand why you can't let Samu down, but if you love him like that, don't waste your time being just a friend to him. You should tell him how you feel about him. Having someone by your side that you love more than anything else is indescribable. Being loved unconditionally with no pressure and expectations is amazing. My Omiomi is all I need in my life. He is the love of my life and as long as I have him by my side I don't need anyone. You should also tell him what happened with Akira. Since I'm not there for you anymore you should tell him. Thank you Itsumu. I'm trying to talk to Osamu that he'll let you rest in the future. I hope we can be friends again someday. Suna hugged his former best friend. To Suna's surprise, Atsumu hugged back. Atsumu had tears running down his face. Atsumu broke the hug and walked away. Before he went around the corner, he turned around again. Please protect him. He's not as strong as he always makes it out to be. He loves you too. Please make him happy. End of flashback. Tsumu said that. He always worried about me. After everything I've done to him. Yes. He protected you no matter what we did to him. He didn't betray me either and told everyone what happened with Akira. I only had the courage to start the relationship with you because of Itsumu. I hate myself for betraying him. After everything he had to do for me, he didn't judge me for not wanting to break up with Akira. He just helped me clean up and comforted me until I calmed down. And he convinced me that I didn't deserve him treating me like that. He convinced me that I should break up. What do you mean by that? Why did he have to help you wash? Flashback one and a half years ago, Suna woke up in the middle of the night. His whole body hurt. He could hardly move. He called for Akira, his boyfriend for several months, but no one answered him. Akira was gone. Suna fell asleep after having sex with Akira. Akira didn't even bother to tuck Suna in or at least wash him up. Suna took his phone and called Itsumo. Rin it's two in the morning? What is so important that it could not wait a few hours? T, Yutsumu, he, help me, I, it hurts, what happened, where are you, I'm coming, I, I'm in my room, Atsumu ran all the way to Suna's house, when he entered, Suna's room, he was shocked to see his best friend like this, Suna was on his stomach, his back was covered in hickeys, bite marks, some so deep he bled, Obviously Akira wasn't using a condom. Atsuma grabbed a blanket and wrapped Suna in it. 
He ran to the bathroom and prepared a bath for Suna. He went back to Suna's room, picked up his best friend and carried him into the bathroom. The two didn't speak the whole time. Atsuma knew that Suna didn't need someone to bombard him with questions now, but someone to help him feel better. Atsuma stayed the whole night. He massaged Suna's back to ease the pain the next day. When Suna wanted to go sleep, Atsuma lay down next to Suna and held him in his arms. This again happened several times. Atsuma was very worried about his best friend. He's trying to encourage Suna to break up with Akira. When Suna was ready, Atsuma promised to visit him right after and that they would have a nice weekend together without Atsuma's girlfriend. When Atsuma came home to Suna and heard his best friend's screams, he stormed into the house. When he saw Akira kneeling over Suna and about to take his clothes off, Atsuma threw himself on the asshole. He raised his fist and struck. He only stopped when Akira was bleeding. He grabbed him and threw him out of the house. He called an ambulance and the police. Suna was lucky. He hadn't been badly hurt. He only had to stay one night in the hospital because he received a few blows to the head. Luckily he wasn't seriously injured. The doctors said he was lucky. Akira was arrested and sent to a juvenile detention center. As Suna found out later, he behaved this way because he was at odds with himself. Supposedly, Akira loved him very much, but because of his parents' homophobia, he always got mad at himself after sex, because he didn't want to take it out on Suna, he always disappeared. The times he thought he had his anger under control and wanted to help Suna, he lost control when he saw what he had done to him or when he saw Atsumu leaving his house. When Suna broke up with him, he couldn't control his anger anymore. Atsumu persuaded Suna to go to therapy, which helped Suna a lot. Until the incident with Samira was. He suddenly had to choose between the two people he loved the most. End of flashback. Suna cried throughout the story. He was shaking all over. Osamu was shaking all over. But, it was because he was so angry. How dare Akira lay hands on Suna? Osamu tried to calm Suna down and wanted to hug him but Suna wouldn't let him. Osamu took a deep breath to control his anger. Baby it's me. I will not hurt you. I will never leave you alone after sex again. I promise I will always help you clean up. Please don't push me away. Please do not leave me. I love you baby. Rin you're the only thing left in my life that matters to me. Please don't leave me too. You are not disgusted? After what I let Akira do to me. Of course not what. Akira is the nasty one here. He treated you so badly. It's not your fault that he didn't see what he had in you. But then why are you so angry? You even tremble with rage. Are you angry because I didn't tell you before? What? No of course not. I'm not mad at you. I'm angry because he hurt you. Because he put his hand on you. I'm angry because he dared to hurt the person I love so much. Suna started crying again. Osamu opened his arms so that if Suna wanted, he would take him in his embrace. Suna hesitated for a moment before leaning forward and allowing Osamu to hug him. At first he was still stiff, but after a while he melted into the embrace. He released all his emotions in his lover's arms. He cried in his arms. Did you wash yourself yesterday? No, I was too caught up in my own head. Atsumu always did this for me. I never had to. That's also why I felt so bad I was never completely alone after that. Atsuma was always there for me. Okay, why don't you let me do this for you? You won't need Atsuma for this anymore. I'll take care of it from now on. Is that okay for you? Why, yes of course. Osamu picked Suna up. He carried him into the bathroom and sat him on the edge of the bathtub. He ran a bath. 
He helped Suna in. He took a sponge and wiped his back. When he saw how many hickeys, bite marks, and bruises he had, he flinched. He could see imprints of his hands on Suna's hips. Have I treated you so roughly? Why didn't you? Say I hurt you? I would. Have stopped immediately. Osamu had tears in his eyes. Suna turned to him. He hugged his lover. After breaking the hug, he took Osamu's head between his hands. He wiped the tears away with his thumbs. Baby you didn't hurt me? I loved it. I like it rough. Baby if you really hurt me I would have told you. Are you sure? I want you to feel good when we have sex too. Of course baby. I promise if you're ever too rough, I'll tell you right away. Osamu nodded and continued cleaning Suna. When Suna was clean, the two went to eat together. The two went to a small restaurant near the parks that Osamu had found. After the meal they stayed for a while and talked about all sorts of things. Until Suna realized something. How did you know that Atsumo knew about me? What? You asked me yesterday if... Atsumo knows what's up with me? You already knew he knew? Where from? I panicked yesterday when I came back and you didn't answer me anymore. I didn't know what to do and called Itsumu. Has he spoken to you? Yes he calmed me down, but he also told me that he didn't want to see me and that I shouldn't contact him anymore. I decided to give up hope of reconciliation. I ruined our relationship. The only thing I can do now is accept his wish and stay out of his life. Baby you shouldn't give up yet. He will be able to forgive you. You just need a little more patience. No Rin, I hurt him badly. He doesn't want me in his life anymore. He doesn't want us in his life anymore. We should respect his wish. After all, we were the ones who chased him away. But no Rin, it is over. Suna was pained to see his loved ones so sad and without hope. I have to do something to make them talk. If Itsumo listens to his brother, I'm sure he'll be able to forgive him. I have to make sure that the two find each other again. Shall we go for a walk before we go to your parents' hotel room? The two walked for a while until they saw familiar blonde hair. Suna just wanted to walk over to the two when Osamu grabbed his arm. Kiyomi looked at the two and shortly after Itsumo also looked at the two. We should go to them both. Maybe we can get them to listen to you? No Suna? Can't you see that Itsumo is happy with his boyfriend right now? If we go to him now, we'll only make him sad. Osamu looked at Itsumo. He smiled slightly as he saw how happy he was with Kiyomi. Osamu let go of Suna's arm. Suna was about to approach the couple. He was quickly stopped again by Osamu. Suna look at him. He's finally happy. We already ruined one relationship of his. Let's not be the reason why these two fight. I want to see my brother as happy as he is with Sakusa Kun. He can't be happy with us by his side. Not when we keep reminding him how much we hurt him. The two looked at the couple on the bench. The twins' eyes met. Osamu looked away sadly. He took an arm from Suna's and pulled him away. Samu you must not give up your brother. Don't let him down again. I will not do that. If he wants to come back into my life of his own accord, I'll be happy to let him. But if he doesn't do it of his own accord, I'll keep away from him. Osamu stopped and looked at his brother. Atsumo quickly looked away. I love you Tsumu. He turned back around and put an arm around his boyfriend's shoulder. The two went back to the hotel together. Next day, Suna snuck out of the hotel while Osamu was taking a shower. He went to Itsumu's school. He thought about what to tell him the whole way. Itsumu I know you're mad at us. No that's stupid. Itsumu I know Osamu and I don't deserve your forgiveness. No not. Good enough. Sumu I know I have no right to speak to you not after what I've done to you. I know I don't have the right to ask you for anything. 
But please listen to what Osamu has to say. He's very sad. I haven't seen him laugh once since you left his life. I'm not asking you to listen to me or forgive me. I know I ruined our relationship. But please don't shut Osamu out of your life. You guys are brothers after all. I hope that W. Suna was snapped out of his thoughts when he heard someone scream. He ran as fast as his legs could carry him in the direction from which he heard the screams. As he rounded a corner and saw Itsumo being forced to kiss someone who obviously wasn't his boyfriend, Suna became furious. He ran towards Hachiko, grabbed him and punched him as hard as he could. He hit several times when Hachiko fell to the ground. Suna grabbed Itsumo and tried to get him to safety. But Hachiko was faster. Hachiko threw himself on the two and threw them to the ground. Atsumo was so scared that he barely moved. Suna gathered his entire strength and stood in front of Atsumo. Hachiko tried to get past Suna. Suna took a few punches, but he managed to hit Hachiko himself a couple of times. But when Suna got a punch in the stomach and just couldn't breathe anymore, Hachiko grabbed him and threw him to the ground. Suna felt a sharp pain in his head. He tries to get up to protect Itsumo, but he couldn't move. The last thing Suna could hear before he lost consciousness was Itsumo's terrified scream for help. Help? Someone please help us. Once again I'm terribly sorry for the cliffhanger. I promise in part 11 you will find out what happened to Suna and Itsumu. Thank you to everyone who leaves me a comment or a like. I always look forward to reading what you have to say. Thank you for all those who take part in my surveys on Instagram. I'm glad to see that more and more people are participating on Instagram. I love you all. This part came out a little earlier than normal because I took a week off the other day. I have a new Instagram account where I will make updates and where I will upload eventual smut scenes. Sequat so heart. Link is in the description. I apologize for the grammatical errors. Write me a comment how you liked the story. Don't forget to follow. If someone wants a video, please let me know it. I will try to write your ideas as best as possible.